In this video, we want to talk about price elasticity of supply. Price elasticity of supply. The equation, uh, percentage change over percentage change, percentage change in the quantity supplied over the percentage change in price. You notice that we've changed the numerator here. We're looking at the quantity supplied, not the quantity demanded. Uh, the way we analyze this would be to calculate the elasticity and compare that value to our benchmark of 1. If the value is greater than 1, we consider that uh, supply to be elastic. If it's less than 1, it's considered inelastic. So let's look at a, a couple of examples. The first one, uh, let's assume that the price of oil increases by say 20% and we note that the quantity supplied increases by only 10% that uh, fraction reduces to 0.5. We compare that to our benchmark of 1 and we discover that it's less than 1. If it's less than 1, uh, that product is considered inelastic. Let's uh, take a look at another product. Uh, how about pizza? If the price of pizza increases by 20%, we note that the percentage change in the quantity of pizza supplied increases by 40%. That fraction would reduce to a 2. We compare that to our index. It's larger or greater than 1. Therefore, that product would be considered elastic on the supply side. In summary, the price elasticity of supply is the percentage change in quantity supplied divided by the percentage change in price. If the value is less than 1, it's considered inelastic. If it's greater than 1, it's considered elastic.